hey YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, today I'm doing something that I haven't done in quite a long time. And that is I'm responding to an open tag. And uh, I found out about this open tag when I was watching a video by Orion. O-R-I-O-N. If you don't know about that channel, go check it out. This guy's from Australia, and he does excellent videos on everyday carry gear, um, all kind of outdoor stuff. Um, that's Orion from Australia. Go check him out. But he was doing a response to an open tag, and I thought, what a great idea for an open tag. I've never really thought about this before. But the tag was done by a channel called The EDC Den. And I just discovered this channel today because of Orion's video. And so I went and checked out the EDC Den, and wow, what a great channel. It's all about everyday, everyday carry and gear reviews and stuff like that. So go check out both Orion and the EDC Den uh, if you haven't already. Odds are you have. The challenge in the open tag is for us to share with you our most intimidating and our least intimidating knives. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, the least intimidating for me was very easy, and you'll understand why when I show you. The most intimidating took a little bit more thought. And I have two runners up, and then my final choice. The other two I thought were worth honorable mention for most intimidating. So honorable mention number two is this Winchester Bowie knife. And I'm giving this an honorable mention just because of the sheer size of this blade. Look at this thing. You pull this out somewhere, people are going to notice and they're going to know you're serious about doing something. Just a a wicked blade. My son gave me this many years ago. As far as Bowie knives go, this is an intimidating Bowie knife, I feel. And uh, I just have always enjoyed this knife. It's not something you want to carry around with you every day, everywhere. But my first honorable mention and runner-up to most intimidating is this knife here that belonged to my brother and it is a Blackie Collins. Again, it's a Bowie style knife, but man, I guess because of the black handle, it's kind of got that, I don't know, it's just a badass looking knife. And again, this is one that if you pull out, you're not going to be able to pull this out everywhere, but when you do, people will take notice and they will be intimidated, rightfully so. Blackie Collins. Yeah, a great knife. And then, now we're on to the winners. First, I'll share with you my least intimidating, okay? And uh, here it is right here. All right, this is it right here. This is my least intimidating knife. And it is a little case folder. Uh, you can see how small it is. It measures about five and a half inches total length with a blade length of about two and a quarter. But what a unintimidating little knife. But this thing's been used. It's very old. I've had it forever. And uh, what a classic design of a blade. Case makes a pretty good knife, I think. And, uh, yeah, not very intimidating at all. Very small. So, yeah, most or least intimidating knife right there, my little case. All right, and here we go, my most intimidating knife right here. You know what it is. If you don't, it's the United States Navy. Mark II. You pull this knife out 
Everybody knows what it is and what it's capable of. This knife has definitely been through the ringer, but man, I wouldn't count on a more reliable knife anywhere. This thing is probably older than I am, or about as old maybe, but man, you pull this out, people are going to be intimidated. Like I say, it speaks for itself. It's history and its performance is unmatched in the knife world, in my opinion. So there you have it, my most intimidating and my least intimidating knife. So yeah, if I was in a situation where I wanted to intimidate somebody and I pulled this out, I think that's going to be an epic fail. On the other hand, if I pull this out, like I say, people know what it is, what it's capable of, and how badass it is. So that makes this my most intimidating knife. I'm so glad I found out about the EDC Den channel. Go check them out. I look forward to catching up on a lot of the videos that they put out. And uh, I appreciate you coming along on this one. And this is an open tag, so please, I would love to see what you guys have chose for your most intimidating and your least intimidating knife. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.